Welcome back. We are here on Etoro looking at the WTI contracts for oil. And we can see that uh, oil continues its upward, upward momentum. So, of course, oil had um, a significant drop uh, in, in, uh, in uh, mid uh, of uh, uh, January and all the way to its lows on, in the mid of April where technically oil be contracts became negative. This was because of the coronavirus and also because of the uh, oil wars between Saudi Arabia um, and Russia. However, since uh, the lows in April, we have been on an upward trajectory and um, oil um, is now testing in this, um, uh, these le resistant le levels here and trying to f uh, fill this gap. Um, well, what can we say about oil? Uh, we have had some historical cuts in the oil production that basically helps uh, um, lowering uh, supply and increasing the price. However, demand is still really, really low. Even though that some airlines have started their their uh, their, uh, their planes again and started flying, uh, we still see that their demand for traveling is significantly down and that is still going to be a major factor uh, in the recovery of uh, the oil price so oil likes to trend in ranges so in 10 to to 12 15 dollar ranges uh, we can see this long period here where we tra trended between traded between uh, $65 and uh, and $50 so a $15 range and this was uh, for uh, a substantial uh, uh, time last year and also into uh, 2020 um, so we may see oil starting trading between the range of uh, around $31 to $32 and uh, and $30 that would make sense and we still we have been in this range for quite a long time now so but i do expect oil to fill this gap just as a technical matter um, it, the 200 moving average will uh, play a significant uh, play as a significant resistant um, so i don't expect uh, oil to break the the 20, uh, 200 moving average if we come up here i will be uh, a seller and now will basically yeah, yeah this is technically a very good selling opportunity the same goes for the lows if uh, we go to uh, to the 50 moving average uh, that's also a, a buying opportunity uh, for for oil uh, we can look at the uh, Fibonacci retracements and we can see that we can see that We can see that we have the 61.8 percent Fibonacci retracement at around the 33 dollar range, and that will be a significant resistance level. Subsequently, the 200 moving average is moving in this direction, and will I would expect it to. Uh, to level out here and just go flat or if we go lower then we can basically see something like this but i do not expect we, us to see um, a similar um, decline in the oil price as we did in april um, we would need a second wave we would another we need another shutdown and um, for most um, countries at the moment a second shutdown is out of the question. Most economy, economies will not survive another shutdown. So, so um, I do not expect us to go back to this level. As well as we have um, cut um, major um, production in oil. So the, um, the supply of oil has been decreased uh, compared to um, April and so on. But for next week, 
we have the scenario is that we continue in this range uh, of very highs of 33 and the very lows of, of 30. And uh, we look at the other indicators, we can see that the RSI is, um, is, uh, has an upward trajectory, meaning that we probably will test these areas here before uh, going down. So fading rallies is, uh, is the tactics here. So if the price goes up close to this um, 61.8 Fibonacci uh, retracement level, or even, uh, even close to the 200 moving average, that should be a selling opportunity. We can also see that the stochastic is uh, in the upward trajectory and the MACD is, uh, is about to uh, cross the signal line uh, in the upward trajectory. So uh, all of these indicators indicate that we will have a uh, continuous um, upwards momentum before we uh, go back down. So hope you find this um, uh, video helpful um, and you're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Thank you very much.